scorched earth. Tonight, a new study led by scientists at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Science shows longer, hotter droughts are more likely in the western United States, even with severe cuts to greenhouse gas emissions. So are we past the point of no return? California has been experiencing drought for centuries. In fact, the mega drought we are experiencing right now rivals that in the medieval times. But there is one big difference. The reason that this drought is so bad is because climate change is really taken what would normally be a moderate natural drought and, and really intensified it. NASA climate scientist Ben Cook says this makes it not only easier to get into drought, but harder to get out. He's part of a group of scientists looking at centuries of drought data going back to the year 800 through analysis of tree rings. This is helping connect the impact of warmer temperatures and the cycle of drought in the West. You know, warmer temperatures mean less snow, they mean earlier snow melt, and they mean more evaporation. Resulting in less water available on the surface for people and ecosystems. They found severely curbing greenhouse gas emissions to help slow the warming wouldn't necessarily stop prolonged droughts. But Cook adds, we still have a lot of control over our future. So even if, you know, we're locked into a future where these sorts of droughts are going to happen more often, you know, the more we mitigate, the more warming we prevent, then the less severe, the less extreme those events will be.